Hello, everybody, and welcome back. My name is Adam Gordon, an entertainer here at IT Pro TV, back with another fun filled episode of Zoom for Educators. How can you as a teacher use Zoom effectively in your classrooms is the question we've been getting here at IT Bro TV. All of you have been writing in, screaming from the rooftops and demanding that we show you cool, innovative and new techniques to make you more productive and allow you to teach more effectively. Well, I'm here to show you exactly how to do that with a brand new feature Zoom has made available using your PowerPoint presentations as a background in Zoom and allowing you to teach over them. Let's take a look at a meeting already in progress. I'm gonna show you exactly how we do this. So I've set my meeting up, in case you haven't realized that's me, shocking, right? And I'm gonna show you how to replace that picture. We call that gallery view picture, just that picture of the participant with you as well as your PowerPoint. So what we're gonna do is the following. We're gonna hover so we can see our toolbar for all of our activities in the meeting. It goes away as you can see. And what we're gonna do is begin right down here where it's a share screen by actually loading up our PowerPoint presentation. And then I'm gonna show you how to manipulate the video. We're gonna click on the button just to show you and keep it there for a second so I could talk to you for a minute about it. I wanna click on that button in just a moment. We're gonna get a menu of different options that's tabbed. And we're gonna to go to the advanced area so that we can see where to select this new feature. So I'm gonna click on share screen. And what you're gonna see, I've already pre-selected it so it comes up ready to go, is that we have basic, advanced, and files. It starts out on the basic tab, but we've moved to the advanced tab and the new feature, the beta feature as Zoom is currently calling it, right there on the left-hand side of the list on the advanced tab, PowerPoint as your virtual background. So we're gonna select this and what we're gonna then do, highlight it in case it's not already selected. And you'll notice selection is just a matter of clicking to make it blue. We're then gonna come down here to the right and use our share button. Now, when we do this, we're gonna see a pop-up window that asks us to browse, find our PowerPoint slide deck, whatever it is we wanna load, and make that available. I've got one already set up. It's got three slides in it. So we're gonna go out and grab that. You can see my browse window right here. I'm gonna select the PowerPoint presentation that's in my downloads directory. You can go grab it from anywhere on your machine as long as it's available for you. So I've pre-edited the deck. I have it available. I'm gonna select it. I'm gonna highlight it, either double click or highlight once, put it in the window, click open, give it just a minute. Uh, mine loads up a little bit quicker than yours will because I've pre-flighted it and loaded it ahead of our demonstration just to make sure there would be no issues. When yours loads the first time, there'll be a slight delay. It'll say on the screen, preparing PowerPoint deck. Just be patient with it. If it's a large deck, especially if you're teaching a long class, 10, 20, 30 slides or more, it may take a moment or two. So just be patient with it. All right, so once it loads up, we've got our deck there. And when we hover, we can see that we get controls at the bottom that allow us to page through our slides, however many there are, using our backwards and forwards, left and right facing arrows. And we get a little three dot ellipsis that's horizontal to the right of the numbers there. And that allows us to modify our video settings. So let's take a look at how all that's gonna work. Now I'm gonna turn on my video so that we can actually see me appear in and on the slide deck. I'm gonna appear at the lower right hand corner initially but I'm actually gonna show you that we can modify the size of that window as well as the placement of it, depending on where you wanna be. So let me enable my video. I'm gonna do that by coming down here. I'm gonna to go to start video right there. It's got a little red line over it. I'm just gonna to click to enable that. You'll see I come up in the galley view at top. You'll notice I'm also right over there, right down on the right hand side of the slide deck. Got my camera angled so you can roughly see me, or at least lower, or the top third of me anyway. And now I can begin my presentation. Anybody attending this particular meeting or this class being taught on how to use Zoom and the IT Pro TV Tube serial that we are presenting this episode for, we'll see my first slide. When I'm ready, I can do some stuff, talk about whatever's there. And as I am ready to move to the next slide, simply click and be able to advance the slides as you can see. 
other useful Zoom videos that we have in our series for teachers. There are some right above me. There are four of them in particular. You might want to take a look at those, by the way, if you are interested in finding out more facts and fun tips that will help you to be more effective while you're using Zoom as a teaching tool. No, notice also I've modified my text so that it moves away from where I am. And right on the edge of the box, right here as I'm pointing, see my fingers disappear? This box that I'm in is actually a movable control and I can manipulate it and move myself around on the screen. Let me show you what I mean by going to our next slide. And you'll see right here, I've got some room right above me if I wanna play around. And so what I can do is I can click right in the area where I am. You can see a blue border now surrounds me. Right? Let me out, ooh, look, I'm trapped. And what you can see is that as I do this, I can grab that control and I can move myself up so that I can be a little bit higher up, but I also can resize that box if I choose to. Just move it over so you can see me do that. And you'll see I get bigger as I do that. And I can resize myself and get smaller. And I can play hide and seek and go up on the top of the server rack or anywhere I want to be. So I'm out of the way, right, of all the information that's on the screen, you know, down below there, for instance, right? Uh, and I could do this just by clicking, but I also can come down here and click on the ellipsis. And when I do that, let me just highlight that one more time and do that to bring it in. You'll see I've got the menu options to resize and split my video out from within the frame. And that's a nice one too, because right now I am up here, but let's say I just wanna be at the very top, right there at the top in the gallery view. I wanna disappear from the slide totally with video. I can do that by splitting the video out from the presentation. I wind up back at the top. I'm no longer in the right-hand corner but easily solved if I want to come back in and reintegrate into the presentation, merge video and PowerPoint, and I bring myself back in and I can redirect myself and put myself wherever I need to be. So this is a very quick and easy way for you as an educator to use a PowerPoint slide deck, present your information to the attendees of your class or your meeting, whether you're an educator or not, anybody who's presenting can benefit from this, but also be an active participant on the landscape of your presentation in real time, adding some additional emphasis when necessary and keeping, keeping people's attention focused on the material while you're, they're able to see you and you're able to interact with them makes for more lively, more engaging, and hopefully more beneficial presentations. I'll be back with more ways that you can continue to use Zoom, not just for education, but in general to the benefit of all of the meeting participants as you engage with them. But until I'm back with another episode, I'm gonna say happy Zooming and I'll see you soon. Check out the playlist for more videos on how to use Zoom and be sure to subscribe to the IT Pro TV channel. I'm Adam Gordon and thanks for watching.